So it is um, day after the EWS race. Um, the event looked gnarly. A lot of people were struggling with it. <clears throat> I think with the heat and the length of the trails and how crazy rough it was. So fair play to everyone that raced and took part. Uh, but it is a new day. It is Monday. It is Air DH day, which is a race down the famous jump line here in Whistler. So this is second time I've done it before when I was 16. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think the track is going to be really hard to race. It's just full of jumps and berms and they're really kicky and yeah, it's going to be tough. But for me, I'm doing it for fun and hopefully I can video it and record it. Um, just waiting for practice to start. <coughs> I'm at the Norco pits at the moment, just getting away from the music, but I've got this pretty sick rig. Rate this out of 10, I give it an 11. But yeah, should be a good day. Make sure you give the video a like, um, comment below throughout the video and let's get into practice and see how it goes. I think I'm going to link up with some of the Norco riders, the factory team riders and uh, do a run with them so that'll be sweet. Let's go. Holy. Wow. Fast rolling. Minion SS. Thanks. First lap in. Bit damp. Local boys. Whoa, there's rough. Still a bit damp from um, them watering it.
gnarly to race it. Whoa. trying to keep your wheels on the ground. easy to get tired on this track. changes that I made to my enduro bike are higher tire pressure, slowed the rebound down front and rear quite a lot, um, like a massive amount, still getting bucked, it's pretty hard to keep the jump low, but yeah, we'll see how the run goes, just have fun and begin. Yeah. chains off.
frustrating. I had a fun run, but my chain was giving me a weird kickback. I think it's just unfortunate that it came off. So just finished air DH, kind of bomb. These things happen. Um, I just pedal at the gate fine. I was feeling pretty good. Um, like quite motivated to try and do a really good run. Um, did the first little hip, pumped, and then started pedaling and changed gear and my chain jammed behind my chain ring. It must have skipped or something when I was changing gear and pedaling at the same time. So I really don't know quite how to explain it other than that. I feel like that was just super unfortunate. Um, getting quite a bit of bad luck this year with <laughs> um, like little mechanicals, but um, taking it on the chin, uh, it was a fun event to do. I haven't done it since I was 16. Um, super hard track to race. Everything was really steep. So squashing things were, was, was, you know, aim of the game but it was difficult uh i still tried to do a decent run um but there was so much of it that you could pedal and pick up speed and then because the chain was jammed behind the chain ring as i was hitting jumps it was my cranks were stiff so i didn't have as much movement so it was kind of sketchy like i was squashing the jumps and uh, my feet weren't really moving like it wasn't absorbing the the, 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 the takeoffs of the jumps So a little bit sketchy there. Um, it was really I was gonna like give up and just pull over to the side But I just got down. I uh, got some bits quite nice. Got the wood section really nice um, I think I finished like 30th or something if I didn't have the chain problem I probably could have been top 15 um, It wasn't really that far away to be honest. So um, Yeah, it was fun and I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a like. Give me your thoughts in the comments below. I think it's a super scary track to go fast on, honestly. It's terrifying. Um, but we have super, super exciting things coming up the next couple of days. Stay tuned for that. I'm sure you've seen it on Yohan Borelli's story. He did it last year. Um, we're doing Tour de Nord. So subscribe to the channel. Make sure you stay tuned for that. It's going to be epic. Um, slightly nervous. But um, that's what I'm here for. To hit these sands and we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out, see you in the next video.